there are three things to understand when we talk about electricity. Charge, current and voltage. All objects and materials have charge. It's created by the net of electrons or protons. If there are more electrons, the substance will be negatively charged. And if there are more protons, it will be positively charged. When a non-conductive substance such as plastic gets charged by having electrons transferred to it, it creates a static electric charge. Such as when you rub a balloon on your head, or when you put your hand on a van der Graaff. Charge is measured in coulombs, and 1 coulomb is equal to the charge of approximately 6.241 times 10 to the 18 electrons. The movement of this charge is called a current, and it's best to think of it as a river. Just as we measure the amount of water passing through a point every second, current is the amount of coulombs passing through a point every second. To measure it, we can put an ammeter in place to tell us how many coulombs are passing that point each second. But because physicists and engineers use the measurement so much, they decided to give it a name called an ampere, or amp. Voltage, or potential difference, is a bit trickier to understand. The way I like to visualise it is by thinking of a lake that is completely still and therefore has no current. If we were to tilt the lake on its side, the water would rush from the higher gravitational potential to the lower. It's the same concept for voltage, only instead of gravitational potential difference, we give it an electrical potential difference. We do this by using a battery for example. The battery gives one side of the wire more electric potential energy than the other side, so the current travels through the wire. The more potential difference we give it, the faster the current flows, just as a steeper waterfall causes water to fall quicker. But why do we call it potential? It's because it has the potential to do work. The unit for the potential to do work is given in joules per coulomb, and one of these is the same as one volt, because people decided to give it a name. Let's think of a 1.5 volt battery connected to a light bulb. What does the 1.5 volt mean? Well, it means if one coulomb were to come out of the end of the battery, it could transfer 1.5 joules of light and heat before it entered the other side of the battery again. 